what's up YouTube you checking out the frequent flyer and as you can see I have something in front of me here to review this is my review of the world's smallest quadcopter with altitude hold function the Cherson CX-10D and as you can see this thing is pretty small to have altitude hold and I must say that the altitude hold function works very well I was just surprised about how small this is to be packing such awesome technology inside uh, just for size reference I have the original Cherson CX-10 here one of the older ones and as you can see it's not much larger than this it matches up motorpod to motorpod it's just a little taller so a little uh, taller there I think they did that in order to house a larger battery uh, maybe the altitude hold function draws more power from the battery I'm not sure but this thing works pretty well and it doesn't fly heavy or anything like that it flies nice and this is very easy for a beginner to pick up and just fly and the reason being is the altitude hold function really takes your attention or your focus away from having to deal with throttle management and I found that whenever I hand someone a multi-rotor that doesn't know how to fly that's flying from the first time maybe usually that's the hardest thing for them to get is the throttle management usually they're flying up hitting the ceiling or falling down too much they're going up and down constantly because they it's hard to find that sweet spot in the beginning to uh, get your quadcopter to hover just giving it the right amount of uh, throttle so this solves that issue with beginners they don't have to worry much about uh, throttle management so all they have to worry about is just uh, steering it just getting it not to crash into anything and it holds its height very well I'm very surprised at how well it holds its height let's look at the transmitter first of all the transmitter has a throttle stick that self centers and that's the characteristic of these uh, quadcopters that have altitude hold function and reason being is center position is zero no input and when you go down on the transmitter then it descends the quadcopter descends and when you give throttle it ascends it goes up so when you let off it it stays in the middle which is zero input and it keeps the quadcopter uh, working off the altitude hold function the barometer and man it, it just works very well it's so easy to fly you can fly this thing with no hands with one hand <laughs> because the altitude hold, hold function works uh, very well even outdoors it works a little um, it, it works a little better indoors but outdoors it works okay too but when affects it different changes in atmospheric pressure actually bothers the the uh, barometer and cause it to go up and down but not too much and also I've noticed when you're flying fast forward uh, sometimes it goes up in altitude or it might go down in altitude it go usually goes up in altitude when you're banking turns and stuff like that but when you're just flying fast forward it usually goes down a little now and this thing gets very sporty actually and Cherson actually did something different that they usually don't do in their quadcopters this has three rates on it and they actually made the yaw rate very fast and high rates on this so this thing has a very speedy yaw but surprisingly uh, it has proportion to it it's very proportional you can get some um, small increments going with this transmitter too this transmitter works really well with uh, just giving a little input on the stick here and you can get this thing to uh, bank turns nice and you can get it to do nice tight funnels you can just give it a little bit of yaw and have it yaw slow or fast it's, it's just very proportional to the steering on it and the throttle and so you can get very nice tight funnels with it on high rates it has very deep pitch and the yaw rate being very fast if you just slam on a yaw and give it all the pitch that you have you're not going to have 
a nice funnel going because it spins too fast. But if you sort of uh, regulate the input just enough to get a fast enough yaw and deep pitch to do a nice tight funnel, you can do it with this transmitter. And I'll try to demonstrate that in the flight footage, but this thing does nice funnels and all, gets very sporty. I The only, the only thing I just wish it had a feature where you can turn the accelerometer on and off. That would be the touch that would make this thing awesome, man. Well, it's already awesome, but it will make it more awesome if you can turn the accelerometer off and just do sporty flying without it because I found that uh, having that altitude hold function in there uh, and it doesn't go well with sporty flying. You can do it, but you're constantly fighting against the accelerometer. Well, not the accelerometer. You're constantly fighting against the height hold, the height hold in order to uh, uh, not go up in the air or go down. So, yeah, very sporty flyer this thing is. And I'm just surprised at how well it works. This is a good one here. It has nice lights on it. LEDs are pretty nice for night flying. It has red in the back and blue in the front, I believe. Let's see. Yes, blue in the front and red in the back. It's hard to see in all of this light, but it does fly nice at night and this transmitter is about the same size as the original uh, transmitter from the Cherson CX-10 and I never really had problems with that but I, it feels better flying it with a larger transmitter I haven't figured out what protocol this thing is on but actually the DB power uh, quadcopter with altitude hold that I have the larger one it actually works with this so I can use that transmitter with this um, it's just an awesome flying quadcopter though. And the first rate on this is very docile, but I think you don't really need, um, to fly it on the uh, first rate. Well, beginners don't need to fly it on the first rate because of the, uh, altitude hold function. It's easy to fly it. It's easier to fly it on second rate because on the first rate, it seems like, uh, people always say that the first rate is for beginners and it hardly has any pitch or roll. And I think that just makes it harder because it's hard to control. You don't have any control. If it's drifting towards a wall uh, kind of fast, you hardly have any control to pull it away from the wall or actually fly out of harm's way. So I think it's better to fly on mid rates for beginners and high rates is just awesome, man, for experienced flyers. It's very fun to fly. If this thing had a camera on it, I imagine it would take very nice footage. That should be the next step for Cherson to put a camera on one of these things with altitude hold function. And what the heck, just throw GPS in there too if you can. <laughs> I might be pushing it, but surely technology is getting better when they're packing things in a smaller package. I'm guessing these things are going to probably have GPS soon <laughs> and that would be awesome. And to have some 5.8 gigahertz FPV and a nano would be awesome as well. But uh, this thing takes double, this takes triple A batteries in the transmitter. And I, I can't see what size this battery is in here. I'm guessing it's probably a 150 milliamp hour battery. Not sure though, it could be, but yeah, this thing is an awesome flyer and it comes with an extra set of spare props, a USB charging cable, and the instructions manual is all English, pretty straightforward, lets you know everything that you need to know about this thing. No headless mode or anything like that, no one key return, back to the classic awesome flying with altitude hold function. Let's go check this thing out in flight. Okay, so this is the indoor flight demo of the new Cherson CX-10D, the world's smallest multi-rotor with height hold. Got the stock transmitter here. I don't know if you guys can see the lights there, but let's try to auto take off. Oh, first we got to bind to it up and down. On... Okay, and so it did that on its own. And the height seems to be holding pretty well. 
Awesome. I'm just controlling its path. It's holding the height on its own. So this is low here. Let's give it more height. As you can see, as I raise the height, it tends to go back down a little. Now it's holding this spot pretty well. One little reach now, this is the pitch here. So pitch and roll. One little reach, this is the yaw. <laughs> you can see that dip. <laughs> and altitude, when you apply yaw, it sort of swings around. It doesn't just yaw in place. Now, we're going to try flip while we're a good battery. So you can see it, it rises up a little for the flip. And then comes back down to the altitude that it was at. So pretty awesome. It does flip nice. Cheetah flips. Okay, we're on mid rates now. This is the roll here. This is the pitch. And you can see you can get really sporty with this thing. And mid rates. Can't do a tight funnel with it though. <laughs> and it loses altitude as you fly forward. Okay, so let's look at the yaw. Still swings off from the yaw. <laughs> so I don't know what that's about. I don't know if I have a weak motor or what, but mine doesn't hold place when it does the yaw. Okay, we're in high rates now. So check out the pitch. This is the roll here, actually. And you can see the roll is a little more deep now. So you can pick up some speed, but look at the yaw. The yaw is crazy on it. <laughs> so really fast yaw on it, but you can, it is proportional, so you can fly it around. Starting to climb on me. <laughs> Yeah, the yard pretty fast. Pitch and roll is really deep. I don't know if you can get a nice funnel with it though. Let's see if we can get a nice funnel. Okay, there's a nice funnel there. Oh, going too fast. Let's try it again. There you go. <laughs> you see tornadoes. That's a nice funnel right there. And as you can see, as soon as you hit something, it just shuts the motors. Now let's try a controlled uh, takeoff. Oops. Let's try that again. I'm going to press up. So we managed to take off that way. Let's try the auto landing. So that was awesome. Let's try auto take off again. You can see this pops up about about a meter and a half maybe. That's what it's supposed to do. Let's do a couple flips. My cat's not getting along back there. <laughs> and you can see it's pretty accurate with holding it tight. After the flip, it comes right back to the spot where it was at. 
well not the same exact spot in space but pretty much the same altitude so pretty awesome we're still in high rates I wanted to try my hand at some more funnels Oh, and there we go, it's going to auto land. We're in LVC now. There it is, that's the auto land. And so that's it. The Chairson CX-10D. The world's smallest multi-rotor with automatic height hold. Thanks for watching.